Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about Joe Biden. Joe Biden always says that he listens to the scientists when in fact he does the exact opposite. Dr. Scott Atlas, and he is advocating young people go about their business and older people sequester. Nobody thinks it makes any sense. Nobody. No serious doc around the world. But reality is the exact opposite of what Joe Biden is claiming. Dr. Atlas responded by saying, nobody? Hmm. Tell that to the 11,000 plus so far epidemiologists and ID scientists from Harvard, Stanford, Oxford, etc. who aligned with this. Boy, those flat earthers sure don't give up. Truth will prevail. Joe Biden is both incredibly clueless and incredibly arrogant. He's a threat to the survival of the country. He refuses to listen to the scientists and wants to take us down a very dangerous path. You have to fix the virus. You have to deal with the virus. So if the scientists say, shut it down? I would shut it down. I would listen to the scientists. But the scientists are saying the exact opposite, and Joe Biden refuses to listen to them. In Europe, only one country listened to the scientists, and that was Sweden. Their daily death rate is declining and among the lowest in the world. Much of the rest of Europe is relying on the Joe Biden flat earth approach using lockdowns, and they don't understand what's going wrong. They're destroying their economy, they're destroying their civilization, and if Joe Biden gets elected next week, we're headed in the same direction. Joe Biden thinks that young people should not be allowed to get on with their lives, but in Sweden they take a completely different approach. Hello everybody, my name is Svetlana. Today is uh, October 12, 2020. Now it's about 5 o'clock, Monday, and we're going to see how does uh, Sweden go with uh, all the coronavirus situation, public transport, masks, and social distance. So as you can see, there are plenty of people and we're going to see how this look outside as well, or inside. The United States is at a very dangerous crossroads. Do we take the intelligent path of Sweden or do we take the foolish approach which other countries in Europe are taking? According to the Center for Disease Control, young people have an infection fatality rate of 0.00003%. For people over 70, the infection fatality rate is 0.05%. What Dr. Scott Atlas is saying is not only intelligent, but it's incredibly obvious. Allow the young people to get on with their lives and protect the older and more vulnerable population. Joe Biden is not only incapable of listening, but he also seems to be incapable of using his brain. Toto thinks this is the most important election in the last 150 years, and we're only a week away from it. You can visit Toto and Kyrie on the web at realclimatescience.com.